We farm with my uh, father-in-law, Mark Barnett, and, and mother-in-law, Betty. Tom's the oldest, my husband, and Will, and Matt, the three brothers, and, and their wives, Sarah and Paige. We row crop um, in Montgomery counties, and we farm in Robertson, Montgomery counties. We row crop cow-calf, uh, background feeder cattle, um, hay, tobacco, and we also have two livestock markets. It came about 1978. My father-in-law bought in 1978, so we're coming up almost on 50 years. He got into it, and then it's just like a bug that bit my husband, and he loves the agriculture world, loves farming, um, loves the livestock marketing industry. And so that, that's, I kind of come into it, and that's, that's where I ended up. I think there's a lot of info out there that people don't realize about livestock markets. We're kind of the bridge between farmer and either a feedlot feeder or a backgrounder. We have a job to do and our job is to get the farmer the most money for their cattle and so we don't take that lightly. Livestock markets have an important role in the industry as to finding out true price discovery. My husband always says do you want the final offer or the final bid? You may be offered one thing on your farm but it could be two to three more dollars a pound at the stockyard depending on that day. So the livestock marketing plays a huge integral part in, in finances for farmers and we take that very seriously. That is their calf crop for that year. They may see us two to three times a year. And so that's their money that they spend on their families, their children's education, their vacations. We try to treat the customers exactly how we would want to be treated and, and more not a customer but a friend. So um, we grade them. Once they are graded, they go into one of the 85 graded pens. And then in the office, we're putting them in. We get them into load lots. We receive cattle up till one o'clock. We start to sell at 2.30. As soon as we get the cattle sold, we uh, move into checks. And uh, we've got people lined up waiting for their money. And so we'll, we'll hand out checks all night and, and, and keep the office moving. And then so as soon as the cattle sell, within about 10 minutes, you can have your check and head to the bank if you want to. And Having livestock markets and farming and being a mom, it used to be I could work all the time. And so when Brooklyn, our daughter, come along, it has changed. So my, my part as mom kind of went to the front, which is I wouldn't have any other way. I think I was so used to working that that was a hard adjustment for me. When she came along, I could we could not have been, you know, prouder and I, I may tear up, but um, we, it was a huge adjustment for both of us, but it was a really large adjustment for, for myself. I was used to either, uh, whatever time of night, I would work long hours trying to get caught up on accounting work, uh, book work, stuff like that. I don't have those anymore because I'm at home, which I would not take anything for that. So I think my job, I still get out on the farm and I still help, but I think that's where we had to find somebody to kind of fill in more. And we've got some really good guys that, that will help with that. But my, my role, yeah, it's changed. It's changed a lot, but I would not trade anything for it. The age of the farmer is rising. The younger ones aren't because it is an expense to get into it. Or maybe they don't want, they want a, a job that has set hours. In 10 years, how are we gonna feed everyone? And that's a concern that we talk about at every meeting. They don't have to be little boys to farm. I mean, look at me, I stayed in agriculture. I loved getting up and going with my dad and brothers and uncles and whoever. Your age of your farmer, those that are passing away, um, are their farms getting sold for houses, subdivisions, schools? There was nothing more that I would love to see my daughter pass pass on to her and love it like I do and love the land and look at soil analysis and understand you know okay what do we need to put down to make this grow and what I would love for Brooklyn to learn most um, is hard work pays off. <laughs>